Hello and welcome to yet another exciting adventure in Guild Wars 2 casting with the best and only Guild Wars 2 caster you've ever seen, EUPU. And this time, boy, do I have a great surprise for you guys. I'm going to bring you guys true 100% high skill gameplay from Platinum with uh, Scourge. And as you guys know, Scourge does require the highest level of skill to play right now. And all this time, you know, we were playing Reaper and Necro and we sucked shit and we couldn't do anything. But Arena and finally decided to create a spec that was skill based. So now all the skill that we used to have is now magnified. We can put it to work with Scourge and it is thanks to Scourge that you will see how skilled we actually are. So keep in mind, guys, that we were actually this skilled the entire time. It's just that only now... Uh, the Scourge uh, improve your skill level. When you roll Scourge, you automatically become a better player. It's just how it is because it brings up the inner skill inside all of us. Uh, just like Spellbreaker, just like Mirage, uh, just like FB, just like uh, Hollow Smith, just like all those incredible high skill cap classes that ArenaNet decided to add to the game to improve PvP even, even more than it already was. As you guys know, the PvP scene is now healthier than it's ever been. We have tons and tons of players. Queues both in unranked and ranked are not taking five minutes on average. Okay, it doesn't take hours to find a match. Everything is hunky dory here in Arena Net Town. And this is a gigantic cost of a you guys. And I need to explain the skill behind what you you need to do in these team fights, see, because both teams do have scourges. And my warrior there went in the dumpster, and the other Scourge looks like he will soon fall, so yes, he does die a sad death. So this team fight looks like it's going very badly for my team. Pay attention to how frequently I'm pressing the one key here. That's very important for high skill play in Platinum. And also, you need to get used to uh, two Scourges per team, because that's uh, the sign of skill in this game. Uh, since every skilled player, just by coincidence, is rolling Scourge right now, now is the time. The time. If you're wanting to try Necromancer, now's the time for your skill level to shine. So, yeah, you guys need to take advantage of that. It's like, uh, just like I've been doing, guys. And just like, I want you guys to know that it's actually really, really hard to be good at the worst. It doesn't, it's not related whatsoever to picking a build like Spellbreaker and, or Druid even. Or Druid, one of the uh, Art of Thorns House of Tranny specs that did survive the Parade of Faggots expansion, untouched, perhaps even more powerful thanks to the new pets, where they can just uh, side monkey, just run to a side node and 2v1 for years on end. And the only reasonable response for the vast majority of classes is to basically turn around and run the other way. That's very intense PvP action. And I'm pretty sure that's why. Guilders 2 is the most successful esport in history, and as you can see here, my uh, guardian is... Uh, is that our guardian? I don't know who the fuck that is. Yes, that is our guardian and the other Scourge. They are just trying to hold that note. Now I'm heading back home to help my teammates capture it, because taking points is actually very, very hard when people are playing seriously in this game, and that's all to the high skill of... Uh, what, what's it called? Firebrands, Scourges, you know, all those classes and all these skilled players using them right now, it can be hard to push up a node, so sometimes it's better to just ignore what's going on and go to the side nodes. So we have a Druid here running around being very annoying. And what you guys need to do with Druids, once again, like I've told you, if you see a Druid coming onto your node and you're not a Spellbreaker or a class that just dumpsters them instantaneously, then you just need to run away. Just run away. That's how PvP is supposed to be played in this game. We have a gigantic battle here going on. This Look at all the incredibly skilled play you're seeing here. Everybody just dumping all their OE on the, on the load. And we're going to professionally teleport our teammate to ourselves here on the ledge. And bring him back to life because he's a valuable member of our team. And we want him at full strength all the time. And thanks to our noble sacrifice distracting the entirety of the enemy team mid my team does hold the rest of the map. We're just going to mosey on here. And remember, when you, the enemy team is preoccupied being shit-stained, dumbfuck motherfuckers, it's always important to take 
the bosses on this map. That's uh, that's something that most people in in low level platinum don't actually know. So just a little tip here, high level tips from your best bud you could do. Once again, keeping it real all the time. I have a warrior here, and what you guys you need to realize to trust in the skill of your spellbreakers. You see a druid coming to decap your node, but you have a spellbreaker there. You need to trust in the force, in his strength, uh, and you can be sure that he's going to hold the note. He's just chasing around that stupid dumb fuck dude. He's running around like an idiot, unable to decap or get anything. So we're just going to join mid and decap it while uh, our firebrand is holding there far so faithfully, you guys. Just absolutely incredible. Here we just bring back our buddy back to life and continue to press 1. Remember, 1 is your friend. 1 is the secret of life. Uh, our scourge goes in the dumpster. We're going to try and just put cancer as much radiation. We're just going to turn this boy into Chernobyl, which is in fact what you're supposed to do. And looks like that we're going to lose this down state fight. We're going to get screwed. So when your teammates get screwed, it's important to realize that you need to abandon them to their deaths because they just, uh, they prove they're worthless. They're useless to you. So you just leave. You just absolutely leave. So we're just going to leave our teammates there. Uh, we're just carefully analyzing the minimap. Remember, always look towards the minimap. It's more important than whatever skill your opponents are using. Because trust me, you guys, with the builds running around now, you don't. it's a sign of greater skill to look at the minimap instead of whatever crazy, bizarre, impossible to see animation in all the spell effects is, uh, is being done by your opponent. And here we have a pro strat. From the enemy scourge, he's not resetting. Instead, he's gonna sit there and watch me cap, and then watch this strategic play. He will, in fact, just run in with his teleport into the middle of the node, into the middle of my cancer, and he's just gonna die uselessly. And that, my friends, this is what this plant, this is platinum play. This is how you play platinum. Okay, this is the highest level of skill in Gilders 2. Okay, we're just gonna here. Uh, we're gonna go here and help our friend because we're very skillful teammates we will in fact ignore that mid is being decapped we will get that kill then promptly turn our attention to this dumb fuck motherfucker spellbreaker we're just gonna sit here and turn the middle point once again that's right you need to turn it into a gigantic clusterfuck of aids and herpes and hiv we're gonna turn this into a homosexual man or orgy place every std known to man on the node and what do you know? We're just gonna be able to cap it very easily. And that's all due to our skill, our individual skill as Scourge. And yeah, this is what you guys need. This is what you guys need to see every time because this is how you're gonna get good, okay? The most important thing, you guys need to look at my guide, all right, and realize that the secret to success is to play classes that, um, how do I put it, they accentuate all the skill that you have deep down. It's like awakening your key or, or your aura. You know, you need to reach a level of awakening and only certain classes can increase your skill level. Um, classes like Mirage are very, very good for your skill levels. Classes like Spellbreaker, like Scourge, they automatically make you a better player because they bring out the potential you had that you couldn't bring to bear in other classes and that's just it's just coincidence it's not it's not related to being overpowered or or easy to play that's just myth spread by by noobs who don't understand how you're supposed to play guild wars 2 and uh you might have noticed that nobody's talking about weaver because uh who cares nobody cares about elementalist but you know what fanaram said the game is balanced so it is it's actually completely balanced all the high level players agree that the game is perfect the only problem is Scourge. Uh, actually, no, Scourge is actually very fine. It's very high skill cap. And as you can see there, that's a victory right there, entirely due to our skill. Once again, this is how to, this is how to be a high-level player, you guys. Just trust me on this one. This is what you need. 